Welcome back into the original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, another quick hitter edition. Um, we're heading out to New York right now to talk about the return home of Colombo crime family capo Joey Amato uh, is home after four years. Um, major moneymaker, the king of Staten Island, uh, a guy that got inducted into the family uh, right before the war broke out. Uh, was a, a a member of the uh, arena rebel faction, fighting against the Persico Mafia dynasty. Uh, went to prison for 15 years for uh, federal racketeering tied to the war in the 90s. Came out of prison in the late 2010s and uh, quickly ingratiated himself back into the pecking order and was able to make amends for going against the Persicos, gained the trust of uh, of the Persicos again, got named a capo, uh, took over some of uh, the old territory of his his mentor, uh, Patty Amato, no relation, um, some some Queens, some Brooklyn, and then, and then planted a flag in Staten Island. One of the biggest loan sharks uh, in New York over the last 30, 30 years. Uh, I'm told that he's close to the new Colombo acting boss, little Rob D'Onofrio, back from their days uh, under Patty Amato and Wild Bill Cotolo, uh, Vittorio Arena, Little Vic. And both uh, D'Onofrio and Amato are now kind of still standing and thriving. Uh, D'Onofrio made the move from the rebel faction to the Persicos in the middle of the war. And Amato uh, stayed true to uh, Arena to the very end, but has been pretty slick in his ability to politic his way back in to the good graces of the Persicos and uh, got tied up in a 2019 RICO case out of Staten Island. It was in a lot of headlines, got a lot of tabloid coverage because in 2016, it looks like that investigation was sparked by a series of harassments uh, or maybe stalking that Joey Amato was doing of a girlfriend and had his crew planting GPS devices on transportation that this woman was taking and uh, put a GPS on a city bus that got discovered. Um, eventually goes down in 2019, cops the plea in 21, had already been sitting behind bars for two years, did another two. Now he's out. It's the third capo from the Colombo crime family to be released um, to taste freedom in, in 2023. Follows uh, on the heels of, of Chucky Russo and um, Tommy Schatz uh, Dioli, former street boss, uh, and then a, 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 an old timer uh, veteran soldier, Joe Monteleone, also uh, came out. So well, that's three new capos. Even though Skinny Teddy Persico, the, the boss in, in waiting, has to go away for five years, he's got little Rob in place uh, calling shots. Everybody's got faith in little Rob. But Joey Amato now back in the mix. It should be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, you know, he, he's a big money maker and is very capable. He's been around for a long time. He's 64. Looks like he's probably got on the 20 years or so. Um, and, you know, is a guy that for all we know could be, you know, in a future administration post, uh, in the Colombo organization, but, uh, Joey Amato is free. He hit the halfway house last week. I think he's official release is January of, of 24, but he'll be in the halfway house, uh, through the holidays. Welcome home, Joey A for, Benny behind the glass and our co-conspirator, Jimmy Bucciolato, will be back on another full episode of the OG pod. Scott Bernstein out.